Tracking for The Rise of Skywalker has been a tad pessimistic compared to The Force Awakens and Last Jedi. As of now, industry experts expect the Star Wars film's opening weekend to come in anywhere between $175 to $210 million. Considering the divisiveness of The Last Jedi, this really isn't that surprising. While I personally like The Last Jedi, I understand why the excitement is down a little bit. The last film didn't really feel like the second part of a trilogy that was heading towards a satisfying finale. There was no sense that Kathleen Kennedy or other Lucasfilm execs had a plan for the overall storyline. Going forward, this is hopefully something Disney fixes with Star Wars. They need someone to plan the creative direction. In the future, Dave Filoni and John Favreau are both expected to have more input in the franchise's direction. But maybe it's time to just give them the keys and let them go with it. Even if Rise of Skywalker has an opening lower than the last two films, that doesn't mean the movie is doomed to be a box office failure. Considering the holiday season that will come right after its December 20th opening, there will be plenty of opportunity for it to catch up to and pass the last Jedi and lifetime domestic grows. It all depends on how good the movie is. If it gets the same reception amongst fans that the last movie did, it could bomb. By bomb, I mean less than $500 million, of course. But that would be a bomb that would probably cost Kathleen Kennedy her job. If it is satisfying, it could very easily pass the 620 mil The Last Jedi did. What I am hoping for is a home run, where word of mouth quickly spreads that the movie redeems the franchise and gives it a new hope. The problem is, for that to happen, I think there has to be big surprises as far as characters returning from past movies. If people find out that Anakin somehow returns, that Luke is back in physical form, or that the Emperor is just as menacing as he was in the prequels and the OT, I think fans will flock to the theaters towards the end of the first weekend and crowd the theaters to see it in the second. That brings me to the last point. Disney has a way to get the projections to skyrocket, but they've shown a lot of integrity by not panicking and going for it. For J.J. Abrams and crew to surprise us with Rise of Skywalker, they have to leave us in the dark about what to expect. Had Last Jedi been more universally loved, this could have worked in their favor. However, that film split the fan base, and the only way for Rise of Skywalker to maximize opening weekend box office would be to reveal something huge that happens in the movie. Disney has to know this, and I'm guessing they've decided to sacrifice opening weekend to allow fans the experience that they deserve. Honestly, I'm holding out hope that I'm right about this. Thank you to everyone who has watched our videos. We are really enjoying making these. If you'd like to support our continued efforts, please subscribe and follow. You can also check out my novel, Verkwai from the Shadows. There's a link in the description below. Have a great day, and may the Force be with you.